Basu, 57 may not have had a good showing in the export market so far, but this Russian fifth-generation stealth fighter leads the American F-35 Lightning II and the Chinese J-20 Mighty Dragon in one key capability. It can carry anti-radiation missiles. Earlier, a Su-57 E landed in Dubai on November 11th to take part in the prestigious Dubai Air Show 2025. The aircraft will conduct an air display at the show, which kicks off on November 17th. Despite being only the third country to operate a fifth-generation stealth combat aircraft, Russia has not been very successful in inspiring confidence in the Su-57 to potential customers. So far, the aircraft has reportedly been purchased only by Algeria, as noted in Algerian media and disclosed in leaked documents from the Russian state arms conglomerate Rostec. Unlike the Su-57, the American F-35 Joint Strike Fighter Stealth aircraft has been purchased by over 17 countries worldwide, with many more orders in the pipeline. The discrepancy has been underlined by West-based analysts, who reckon that the Su-57 is no match for the F-35. Additionally, the Russian stealth fighter is compared to the Chinese J-20, with critics highlighting how the Su-57 remains embroiled in production bottlenecks, whereas the J-20 has more than 300 units already in service. Interestingly, the Russian Su-57 beats its American and Chinese rivals in one crucial area. The Su-57 can carry anti-radiation missiles, which are instrumental for conducting SCAD, suppression of enemy air defenses, and dead, destruction of enemy air defenses, in combat. Notably, the UAC published a promotional video of the aircraft in flight ahead of the Su-57's arrival in Dubai. The footage provided the first-ever view of the main weapons bay opening during the flight, with a pair of KH. 58 USHK anti-radiation missiles clearly visible. The video took many by surprise, as the Su-57 typically, but not only, carries the R-77M air-to-air, the R-37, or the KH-69 long-range air-to-surface missile. The KH-58 USHK anti-radiation missile is a more advanced variant of the KH-58, which has been used to attack Ukraine in the ongoing conflict. As per publicly available information, it weighs around 1,400 pounds and has a missile body that is about 24 inches shorter than the standard armament. It has foldable fins that allow it to fit in the internal weapons bay. However, it can also be carried on external weapon stations of other combat aircraft. When fired from higher elevations, the weapon's stated range is 150 miles, 241 kilometers, but it is significantly reduced at lower altitudes. This means that the weapon's integration and internal carriage on the Su-57 significantly enhances the aircraft's combat capability and lethality. Reacting to the video published by the Su-57's manufacturer, the Indian Air Force veteran, aviation expert, and an avid watcher of the Russian military, squadron leader Vijender K. Thakur, RETD, said, It's perhaps noteworthy that the Su-57 is currently the only stealth fighter capable of launching an anti-radiation missile, a capability that allows it to take out radar sensors deep in adversary-held territory. Typically, anti-radiation missiles help in neutralizing enemy air defenses, such as radar and communication systems, allowing friendly aircraft to operate more safely. They can also be used to jam enemy jamming platforms and disrupt their communications in combat. However, this capability is exponentially enhanced when they are equipped on stealth jets. When equipped with anti-radiation missiles, stealth fighter platforms gain significant operational edges in suppression of enemy air defenses SAD, missions. The anti-radiation missiles home in on radar emissions, making them ideal for neutralizing integrated air defense systems. Notably, the low radar cross-section RCS, allows stealth platforms to approach enemy radar sites closer without triggering alerts, providing better launch geometry and higher missile success rates.
This could help give the said stealth platform the first strike advantage, which often proves instrumental in dominating combat and gaining air superiority. Meanwhile, on January 12, 2024, Lockheed was awarded a contract valued at over 97 million US dollars by the Pentagon to finance initial development work to integrate the fifth generation F-35 with the Northrop Grumman AGM. 88G Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missile, Extended Range, ARGMER. The missile is under development, with initial operational capability, IOC, expected in 2026 to 2027. According to a previous U.S. military document, the Pentagon has plans to ensure that the ARGMER is configured for internal carriage on the F-35. Similarly, the Chinese J-20 stealth fighter can carry anti-radiation missiles, but does not yet have any. While the CM-102 is suitable for stealth aircraft due to its small size and compatibility with internal bays, the J-20's internal weapon bays are primarily for air-to-air -air missiles. They are not publicly confirmed to carry the CM-102. In the absence of an anti-radiation missile, the SCAD-dead role is currently assigned to dedicated platforms like the J-16D. The UAC video showcasing the Su-57's outstanding capacity to accommodate heavier internal weaponry, released right before the Dubai Air Show, could enhance export interest in the aircraft. Of course, the Sweden-Russian offers of joint production and technology transfer would be instrumental. Interestingly, as the Su-57E participates in the upcoming Dubai Air Show, it will meet the Eurofighter Typhoon, which is also participating at the event with an eye on new exports. Dubai Airshow provides Eurofighter with a unique platform to showcase our incredible program assets to partners and key stakeholders from the Middle East region and beyond. The official page dedicated to the European aircraft wrote on X, announcing its participation. It is pertinent to mention that the show is a key platform for Eurofighter to pitch the Typhoon to Gulf buyers. Unlike the Su-57, the Typhoon is already operated by multiple countries in the region, including Saudi Arabia, Oman, Kuwait, and Qatar. In fact, Turkey recently signed a massive deal to purchase 20 Eurofighter jets, injecting a fresh lease of life into the aircraft. The Eurofighter consortium, comprising the UK, Germany, Italy, and Spain, is eyeing further expansion. Amid regional tensions, this display could accelerate talks on upgrading older jets or new sales, especially as countries in this volatile region diversify their fleets beyond US and French suppliers.